Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. This weekend sees the start of the third Australian S5000 series, a series many may overlook, but not me, because I am a professional. After the very long Formula BMW video I just finished, go watch it, it took a lot of effort, let's do a shorter video today and look at the 11 confirmed runners in the S5000. I'm sure more will join down the line, but for now, let's see who will be at round one. So make sure you subscribe and let's begin. 88 Racing. Just one car so far for 88 Racing. And it has the man to beat driving it, Joey Mawson. He's the only S5000 champion, having won both championships so far. Having already taken eight wins in the series, Mawson has so far proven to be impossible to beat. But now he has left Team BRM and joined 88 Racing. Maybe a new champion will be crowned. For now, Joey Mawson is the favourite. Team BRM. And speaking of Team BRM, they have got Mark Rosser, who raced in the Tasman series and managed a best 7th place. I don't expect much from him. I didn't in the Tasman series, and I was right, for a change. Zane Goddard is in the other seat. He won four races in the British F4 series back in 2016 and has not won a race since. This may be his best chance. He did a few races in S5000 in 2022 and got a podium, but since 2016 he has not done a lot of note. A failed Formula Renault campaign and a season and a half in supercars with Matt Stone Racing, with a best 7th and 3 failures to finish at Bathurst. If he is ever going to win a race again, then this is the best opportunity so far to do it. Versa Motorsport The promising Cooper Webster returns for Versa. The 20-year-old eSports specialist even won a couple of rounds in 2022, as well as finishing runner-up in the Tasman series. He is pretty good for a young man, and it'll be interesting to see if he can take that extra step up to title contender. Blake Purdy took his first podium in 2022, followed by two more in the Tasman series. He could also be a potential race winner. He finished 8th and 9th in the Tasman series, but 6th overall in the 2022 S5000. Finally, Matt McLean a Super 2 Series reject who has absolutely no chance of winning. I'll eat my toenails if he does. Gary Rogers Motorsport Our final team is Gary Rogers Motorsport and they have five drivers lined up for round one. Roberto Merry returns to the series after last racing in the 2021 Tasman in which he finished runner-up. The former Formula 1 driver will be looking to go one better. Aaron Cameron won that 2021 Tasman series and has two wins in the Standard series as well as another two in the Tasman. He also has five TCR Australia wins and is a very good national level driver. James Golding was last year's runner-up and finished third in the 2021 Tasman. With eight total wins and two top ten finishes in the Bathurst 1000 and a fair few supercars appearances, James Golding is another top driver in this series. The last two drivers on the grid are Jordan Boys, who has scored podiums in S5000 and has been racing in supercars for Brad Jones, and Nick Carroll, another esports pro who has done very little racing up to this point. So very good drivers for Gary Rogers and some young hopefuls as well. So that is all the drivers announced for S5000 so far. There will probably be more as the season goes on and some of these might not compete at every round. If I had to pick a champion then obviously Joey Mawson is hard to beat. But if Merry does the full season, then I think his experience will see him crowned champion. But Aaron Cameron and James Golding for Gary Rogers should not be bet against, nor should some young surprises like Cooper Webster. I am surprised 2022 Tasman Series champion Nathan Hearn is not competing, nor is Tim Macro. They may turn up at some point, but I thought Hearn at least would have a real go at this series in 2023. So that is every driver in S5000. Let me know your predictions and thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe. And have a good one.